Dear Mr. Batula, thank you very much. And uh, distinguished delegates of the EICBI, eminent speakers and participants. I am pleased to be here with you today to attend this retrospective of 60 years of India EU India diplomatic relations and, in, and to celebrate this important milestone. And I'm happy to give you uh, our, uh, I'm happy to give you our view of where we are now in this uh, partnership in early 2022. As you know, India and the EU are strategic partners engaged in, on a wide range of issues. The depth of our relationship encompasses many areas from clean energy and climate change, uh, environment cooperation, smart sustainable urbanization, information and communications technology. Since last year, India and the EU have also engaged in building a sustainable and comprehensive connectivity partnership, working hand in hand on digital, energy, transport, and people-to-people -people connectivity to support the green and digital transitions, promote sustainable and inclusive growth, economic growth, and resilient value change. The EU's Indo-Pacific strategy adopted last year has also added a new dimension to our partnership. Moreover, the EU's new global gateway initiative will give a significant boost to investment in the region. The Global Gateway is the EU's contribution to narrowing the global investment gap worldwide. It will deliver sustainable and high quality projects, taking into account the needs of partner countries and ensuring lasting benefits for local communities. This will allow EU's partners to de develop their societies and economies whilst ensuring the highest environmental and labor standard standards, as well as sound financial management. And there is huge potential for investment in India. India is one of the world's, uh, world's fastest growing large economies with a domestic market of almost 1.4 billion people. The European Union, on the other hand, is the world's largest trading bloc, accounting for 16.5% of global imports and exports, with the EU being the largest trading partner and investor for over 80 countries. This underlines the tremendous opportunities for growth in trade and investment between the EU and India. Currently, two-way bilateral trade and trading goods and services is close to 100 billion euros, while e EU investment accounts for 11% of total investment inflows into India last year to be worth about 5.7 billion euros. Trading goods between the EU and India increased by 12.5% in the last decade. Trade in services between the EU and India reached 32.7 billion in 2020. These trade flows are indicative of strong economic ties between EU and India. However, given the size of the two economies, we can also surmise that a lot more can be done to unleash the full potential. It is against this background that last year, in May 2021, the EU and Indian leaders agreed to resume negotiations for a balanced, ambitious, comprehensive and mutually beneficial free trade agreement. Simultaneously, they agreed to launch negotiations for an investment protection agreement and for an agreement on geographical indications. Furthermore, India and the EU also agreed to work together to find solutions to long-standing market access issues, as many of the issues affecting companies could fall outside the scope of these agreements. The, uh, the relaunch of the EU-India trade and investment negotiations represents a unique opportunity to boost trade and investment flows between the two regions and to address the challenges that EU companies, including the small and medium enterprises, still face while operating in the Indian market and vice versa. 
time high import duties to non-tariff barriers, intellectual property enforcement issues, country-specific standards and procurement law are some of the areas of concern for EU companies operating in India today. Addressing these areas of concern would contribute to unleashing the potential of the EU-India trade and investment uh, ties. Overall, we have convergence of interests in the region and beyond, and we should build on this convergence and our shared values in the pursuit of uh, public, uh, of global common goods. We hope that there will be numerous contacts throughout this year, culminating in an EU-India summit, summit later in the year. I would like to thank the EIBCI for setting up this event, which must be one of the first ones this year to celebrate our 60 year anniversary. I'm looking forward to a fruitful exchange and discussions today and to working jointly with our Indian partners to deepen EU-India ties. Thank you very much and thank you for your attention.